First reading, a reading from the prophet Amos, chapter 7, verses 10 to 17. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel, Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words, for this is what Amos says, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wives shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 to 8. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins? He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord To accept one's faults or to accept one's weaknesses or sins, it needs courage. It requires courage. Because for one person to accept not his good but his bad side is a very challenging task. Today in society, we hear and we experience how the people would cover up, would cover up their faults, would cover up their weaknesses, sins, and just they want others to know how good they are alone. Therefore, so much so, though they are powerful, though they are energetic, still for all, they are weak within themselves. They are paralyzed within themselves. This is how today Jesus would heal the paralyzed man. And first of all, Jesus would not grant him the physical, the physical, uh, physical away from the ailments, but Jesus would grant him the inner peace, inner peace. He had the inner paralytic wounds where he would be bedridden for so long because of his sins. And Jesus felt that. And first of all, Jesus was happy that he had the courage to come looking for Jesus, looking for Jesus. Of course, he came looking for Jesus for the cure in his physicality. But Jesus knew and Jesus felt how the inner selves of this man 
has been paralyzed due to the sinfulness of this man. And that is why Jesus encouraged or Jesus addressed this person saying, Courage my son, your sins are forgiven. Courage my son. So Jesus being here, given the positive remarks for this person, you need to be courageous in order to get up, in order to get up and in order to be free from all the sins and from all the ailments within myself, I should have the courage to get up and go to Jesus. Unless and until you go to Jesus, you will not be cured 100% in your inner lives. You may be physically fit, you may have no ailments physically, but still for all, if you go deep down into your heart, you would find so much ailments within you. And unless you find the divine doctor, the divine physician, you will not be healed fully. And only the divine physician has the power, has the power to forgive the sins of yours. And that's why today these Pharisees are being asked, they ask the question from Jesus. Where do you have this authority to forgive the sins of the people? And Jesus would say, yes, son of man has power on earth to forgive sin. It is only Jesus has the power to grant you and me the healing to my inner self, to my inner self. Let us be courageous. Let us get up and let us take our beds and stretchers and go to Jesus, in whom we would find the ultimate solace and peace.